Okay, Prime Wait, Minister, Minister Foreign Agent, Agent Registry yeah, legislation. Yeah. Foreign Agent Registry legislation, sir. Why haven't you tabled it yet? Oh, we're when continuing we to work on that because it's an important issue. Uh, uh, Prime Minister, Minister Bill Blair said Prime earlier today. Minister. Bill Blair said earlier today that Hamas must be eliminated and cannot be trusted to abide by any ceasefire. Do you agree with him? Uh, Hamas is recognized as a terrorist organization. They've committed unspeakable atrocities. Our priority throughout this needs to be the continued protection of innocent civilians, the liberation of the hostages. That's why uh, we're engaged closely with our allies on trying to build humanitarian corridors, get aid in, get civilians and foreign nationals out of Gaza. I think there's a lot of conversations going on now about the need for humanitarian pauses, and I think that's something that Canada could ask. Sorry, 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 uh, rester uh, ancré sur la priorité de protéger la, les innocents, uh, de libérer les otages. Uh, C'est pour ça qu'on appelle pour des corridors humanitaires et on est uh, ouvert et on, on appuie l'idée uh, de, de pauses humanitaires uh, pour permettre l'accès à, à des, uh, des ressources nécessaires pour les civils. C'est ça. Pour euh, prendre une pause dans ce qui se passe à Gaza. Est-ce qu'on a besoin d'une trêve humanitaire en ce moment à Gaza, vous croyez? Qu'est-ce qu'on a besoin, c'est faire sûr que les citoyens euh, de, de Palestiniens sont, sont, euh, on, on prend soin d'eux et on n'essaie pas de les faire mal, mais en même temps, il faut qu'on élimine euh, Hamas. Ça fait, euh, ça fait que. Hamas. Ça fait que c'est quelque chose qu'il faut qu'on fasse. Mais pour protéger les civils, est-ce qu'on ne devrait pas prendre une pause, le temps de leur apporter de l'aide, leur permettre de fuir? Il faut qu'on fasse tout qu ce qu'on peut pour faire sûr qu'on ne fait pas du dommage aux citoyens de, de Palestine. Merci. Avec une preuve officielle, c'est ça la What is your take? Do you think there should be a ceasefire or now a humanitarian truce? That's what's being called right now, not necessarily a ceasefire, but a truce to allow uh, more aid to go in. Well, we have to get aid in. Uh, in a perfect world, I'd like to see a ceasefire that involves Hamas saying, you know what, we give up. There's, um, do you think, uh, but the Israelis have all the force. Do you think the Israelis, that their impetus, they, there should be some pressure on them to let up as well? Do they let up and uh, thereby allow Hamas to regroup, redo what it wants to do, what it's vowed to do. I don't know. Uh, I mean, for the sake of the victims, a ceasefire, absolutely. For the sake of long-term peace, though, if we could somehow get Hamas to just basically say, you know what, we were wrong, don't need to, you know, eradicate Israel anymore, uh, wouldn't that be nice? And my final question is, are you worried about the tenor right now that's going on? I mean, um, the Jewish groups say that they're experiencing more hate, but so are Palestinian organizations, people who are advocating for a humanitarian solution, more aid and on behalf of Palestinians. Well, I think what everybody has to be reminded is that they, they live in Canada, right? And their first duty isn't to wherever their ancestors came from. Their first duty is to the community here, to this nation. And so that means that we don't go after each other because of what's happening somewhere else in the world. We act like Canadians and we work together for the common good. And if we do that here, maybe that could rub off in another part of the world. Thank you. Je me demandais, est-ce qu'on a besoin d'une trêve humanitaire à Gaza? Est-ce que c'est le moment que le Canada demande une trêve? Je pense avoir la paix, il faut, il faut faire tous les moyens pour répondre aux besoins des civils innocents dans les deux côtés. Donc, c'est le temps pour travailler par le, pour la paix. Monsieur Macron demande une trêve. Est-ce que le Canada devrait faire la même chose? Okay. What's your reaction to the agreement, sir? Um, look, it's a uh, long time in the making, and we're very glad that the uh, settlement uh, was, uh, was reached, and uh, the courts have uh, ratified it. Um, $23 billion, very significant amount. Um, no, no amount of money will uh, bring back the lost uh, lives uh, over many, uh, many decades, but it is a very significant uh, step in ensuring that we walk on the path of reconciliation, and I'm glad that this was accepted by the courts today.
For Canadians who have not been following uh, this agreement closely and who are going to see this figure today and go, wow, that's an extraordinary amount of money, what, what would you say to them about the importance of this? Well, I'm going to let Mr. Haidu go into the specifics of it, but in, in the bro broader scale, the cost of reconciliation uh, goes higher and higher as we put off very critical uh, decisions, especially on, on past harms. And what we've done today, I think, is really to recognize the enormous harm uh, that the practices um, have caused uh, on young, young people particularly, but also their families um, and, and, and communities. So this is a recognition of the enormous harm caused uh, through the child welfare system. And, and I think it's important that Canadians recognize that this is an important step towards reconciliation. I know I appreciate that this sort of further delves into legal matters, but in some of the coverage around this, we've heard people say, well, these harms, some of these harms are still ongoing, and even talk about legal action to deal with that. What would you say? You know, we since taking office in 2015, we've been addressing many of the systemic harms uh, that have uh, that, that Indigenous uh, people have faced, particularly children. There are still a number of uh, matters that are being litigated, and and you know we look forward to bringing those to closure. Uh, but for today, I think this is such an important and significant step uh, that's um, likely giving some solace to those who have been impacted. But of course, there's a lot more for us to do, and we look forward to working with our Indigenous partners to. To, to get there. Est-ce qu'on parle français? Un petit peu. Juste un, peu, un petit mot. C'est même pas une question, mais votre réaction. Un petit mot là-dessus. Um, C'était un um, uh, très important uh, jour pour, pour nous, uh, pour le, les enfants autochtones, uh, pour, uh, uh, pour Canada. Um, il, um, uh, il est. Il est um, uh, Beaucoup des années uh, passées. Um, I think that's limited to what I can say. <laughs> I, I, I can do, send you a prepared statement in French if you want. Yeah. Mr. LeBlanc, Hi, what was you? your reaction to the five found dead this morning in Sault Ste. Marie? I was told uh, about that this morning. It's obviously uh, a horrible tragedy. Uh, the Sault Ste. Marie police have put out a statement. Uh, the RCMP commissioner had updated me this morning on information. Uh, he'd received from the Sault Ste. Marie Police and it reminds us that we all have a lot of work to do uh, with respect to these kind of violent crimes. Is C-21 what's needed to prevent shootings like this? 